While people can't seem to get enough of their gadgets, their appetite seems to be more finite, with fears that the sales of semi-con industry this year to mean flat. However, is the fear systemic or cyclical? We speak to the president of Semicon, Ng Kai Fai, on that issue. So we saw a sluggish start in the global uh, semiconductor sales in January this year, early this year, and it actually dropped five point eight percent year on year if you compare with last year to twenty six point nine US dollars, uh, million US dollars. And uh, what were the reasons behind the drop in in the entire global? The trajectory for semiconductor industry will always be going up. If you just look at the historical data, um, semiconductor industry ebbs and flow. Uh, it's just that the cycle of this ebb and flow. The rise and and the fall, and the fall becomes shorter and shorter. From semi perspective, I think 2016 we will see probably a flat growth of of the industry. Previously, in many years ago, we <coughs> saw a longer recovery period, ups and downs. But why why we saw shorter ups and down uh, at the moment? One of the things that you might notice is that obviously the electronics are uh, advanced. Uh, advanced electronics are getting uh, more and more diverse. And therefore, the requirement for the uh, devices, for the ICs, uh, for the cap capacity of the ICs, for the technologies of the ICs, obviously, I, I have to, it's, it's also playing a catch up, right? We are also designing more and more uh, hybrid devices, high technology devices. Therefore, this, this really much contributes to the shorter uh, uh, cycle that we are seeing right now. Of course, different electronic devices require different raw materials, right? right. But how does these um, figures affect the entire ASEAN Pacific region? I think um, Malaysia is well positioned in the growth of the um, semiconductor industry. So if you look at, uh, everybody is talking about Internet of Things. And one of the key things about Internet of Things is about packaging, testing. So if you look at Southeast Asia as a whole, um, Southeast Asia commands about 40% of the manufacturing space of the uh, assembly and test uh, globally. And Malaysia alone this year, they contributes about 12 to uh, 13%. So obviously, uh, Malaysia is well positioned for this growth. And uh, a lot of attention actually are put right now onto uh, packaging technologies. And that is also one of the uh, technical track in our Semicon show that's happening this year in April in Penang. Well, talking about Internet of Things and also cloud, right? Apple said that they are going, to, they are set for the <coughs> slowest growth um, in in March. I mm. mean, coming March, they are going to announce that their iPhone sales is going to be the slowest until now. So, what kind of advice would you give the semiconductor companies, especially with high exposure in the mobile phone segment and laptop markets? If you look at Gartner's projection and most of the projections, internet, uh, we're going to have 50 million connected devices, or 50 billion, I beg your pardon, 50 billion connected devices in 2020. And if you look at the projection that we've done together, uh, we are estimating the, uh, the Internet of Things revenue would be close to about $300 billion in 2020. If you look at Internet of Things into several segments, you can look at smart urbanization. Uh, you can look at smart manufacturing or what we call advanced manufacturing that probably Malaysia is looking into it right now. Uh, you can look at smart healthcare. So do you think it's a good time for them to diversify into other things as well? Absolutely, absolutely, right? And that is also where uh, I think SEMI brings a lot of value. So when you talk about smart urbanization, smart healthcare, smart manufacturing and even smart automotive, SEMI is, is actually a platform for you to cross-link all this uh, little side, all these uh, segments together. Do you think um, you know mobile phone segment is, is maturing right I now? Think mobile phone uh, is maturing. I uh, but there are other growth areas that uh, we are really uh, interested. As I said, uh, just now we talk about uh, uh, smart healthcare. Mm. You know, sensors, variables, embedded devices is going to be a next phase of growth, I think. And just now we also talked that uh, talked about uh, you actually <coughs> forecast that this year semiconductor global mm. sales will be flat. Mm. Uh, do you have a number to, on that? Well, we think that it's going to be about 1.4%, probably 1 to 1.4%. E and E is still a major contributor to the Malaysian economy. One third of its exports, in fact, 
With the mobile phone and laptop segment coming to a plateau, the question now is, how are the local semicom players planning to step up their game?